Hello, I'm Jackie Hayes. Um, I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from Perth in Western Australia. And this is take two of this card. I'm using a Christmas, I'm making a Christmas card. And my challenge was to do houses, but um, I didn't get the last video finished. It switched off before I'd even got halfway through it which is really annoying because I didn't do anything and I still don't do anything. I don't know why, but I will carry, I will do it all again so you can see what's happening. My um, stamp sets that I'm using is um, Light Me Home and that's this piece here. And then um, From Our Home to Yours and then with um, heartfelt wishes to a wonder for a wonderful season and inside I've stamped it again there li lightly though this time not as dark as that and the saying Merry Christmas comes from the new poinsettia petals it's in the catalogue uh, mini catalogue and that starts on the 3rd of August I will get started now and hopefully it won't switch off. The colours I'm using is Misty Moonlight, which is 10.5 by um, scored at, sorry, A5 scored at 10.5, and, and the um, Seaside Spray is 10, and a, 10 by 14.5, Whisper White is 10 by 14 and a half for the inside and nine and a half by 14 for the outside we'll get started on this one first um, on the outside I did the inside before and it just went haywire um, just don't know why things keep stopping and this I think this is YouTube it's nothing to do with my uh, pad being run out because it's plugged in all the time with this one I'm going to stamp it three times and I've got my card right in the corner and I want to do it three times because I want it dark and as you can see that's not dark enough you can hardly see that very um, and with the stamparatus you can do this because it will go straight over it without smudging it and that is perfect again just making sure it's right in the corner again and then it, this is the third time you can go over to <coughs> excuse me you can go over it as many times as you like with the stamparatus um, and that is, I think that's quite good. It's dark enough. So there's that one. I will then now do the inside, but I'm going to just fetch that down. And yeah, that's where I want it. And I'm not only going to stamp this once, I don't want this one. I'm hoping I'm only doing it well. I'll just give it an extra shot of crumb cake ink. That's it. Perfect for that one. But I'm going to leave that where it is. Just move that over and turn this plate round, which is straight up. And that's going to be for the Merry Christmas. Just clean this off because I don't want it all over everywhere. and always have something underneath this to stop it bending back and this is a Merry Christmas on there and that is spot on I'm happy with that so I'll just leave that on there I'll just move this out of the way and 
that can go inside then I'll wipe that off for the uh, for the clear uh, polymer stamps you need something underneath it because it's not thick enough otherwise I've got a belt a um, grid and my um, silicon mat now I'll just move that on one side because I've finished with that but then I'm going to just stamp the saying on this bit as well and this is down at the bottom making sure my paper is straight with my grid paper Sorry. and then this one is from our home to yours I just want to make that sure that's straight as well and that's okay so that's that's the outside one done move that out of the way I'm going to put this all together now because I want to be able to um, I want to be able to do the um, the top the finishing bits to this and, and part of it is um, blending in but I've only blended in a little bit which is the um, lamp lights in the house and the wreath so that's that piece put this piece on as well blue when you're doing Christmas cards the best thing is not to make make them too bulky because that's going to be going through the post mostly I know it might seem a little bit early for doing Christmas cards to send to England but at the moment um, the the post is horrendous it, just not very good at all took my husband's birthday card um, nearly two months to come and they were posted in May and his birthday was beginning of June right so I'm using the blends and this is dark daffodil delight and I'm using the bullet end and this is for the light the lamp and for the lights in in the house so and then for the um, wreath bow and for the berries I'm using the dark poppy parade and the bullet end again I'm not going to be using the light because it's not really a big piece if I'd have wanted it a little bit lighter on or shading uh, I could have done uh, the two colours but that's that's now ready to go on here because I'm going to put the shimmer crystal effects on the top it, but I don't want to do it until I've put all of the card together And when you've stamped that many times, this has got a raised up feel to it compared to the back part of the, the card. Now, for the shimmer, crystal shimmer effect, I'm just going to do um, the roof. Whoops, get it started. Last time it came out really runny there it is and it doesn't take long for this to dry um, you could use a heat tool if you wanted to use it to have it dry quickly but I just prepared this second card because the first video didn't continue 
and by the time I'd started this card the um, crystal shimmer effects had dried on the sec on the card that I was doing so then and I'm just doing some on the snow there I don't want to put too much on but you need to put a bit of um, raised up feel to it because it's it's Christmas it's it's like a gl glitter you like to see glitter all over the cards at Christmas well I do anyway it makes it Christmassy and I know my husband does he's a Christmas fanatic you can't put too many trimmings up and you can't uh, you can't take them down until until he's, um, he's ready to take them down in January I've just noticed I've missed my berries just turn that round so I don't touch it I missed the berries I thought there was something missing off it but that's not a problem I didn't finish my card so there so there's my finished card it hasn't taken me long um, and you can see from these one I did yesterday uh, ready for my card today and the other one I've just done now and both of them are dry um, so that's that's my third one if if anybody would like um, to order this set it will come into the new cre uh, Christmas cat mini catalogue which I can't open it up yet and that starts on the 3rd of August and this set is in it I do like it I think it's lovely and it's called light me home and like i said the saying from the christmas merry christmas is the poinsettia petals um, if you would like to um, join my team which i've got some lovely ladies um, joining fee is 169 dollars if you are an avid crafter 169 dollars isn't a lot to spend when you get two hundred and thirty-five dollars of um, of goods for that one hundred and sixty-nine dollars, um, you then become a demonstrator, and after that, you, every order you spend, you save twenty uh, twenty percent, which is a big saving. If you join, and you you think. Oh, I don't want to be a demonstrator anymore you just stop buying and Stamping Up are quite happy with that they they don't mind you joining and then not buying again if you um, if you do want to become a demonstrator you can get so many different benefits the at the moment as well with it just starting the new quarter um, you get three three months to to buy um, four hundred and thirty one dollars. I think it is in the first quarter, but because you've joined at this this time, you get six months, uh, which is if it's I think it works out about twenty dollars a, a week, which is not a lot to buy all your crafting stuff that you want i've been doing it for now um 11 years in a in november and the benefits of this is not only do you do crafting and you get to build up your own craft things you get to meet a lot of lovely ladies who are in the same mind as you like crafting and like to save money and we have team meetings as as often as possible it's not always easy when 
some of them have got appointments or they're working and we we have fun um, at Christmas and catalogue launches we try to make it fun and that's what crafting is all about and if it stops you going stir crazy at this time of year where everybody is going having to stay in lockdown then so be it i'm happy to let you stay to watch my videos and um, and if you wanted a catalog like this which is the main catalog this started in on the 3rd of june till next year uh, till the 3rd of may there's loads of things that you can do this is five dollars but this one if you would like one of these I supply this free of charge so please let me know and um, please stay safe and I will catch you again next week when I'll be doing more crafting um, on Monday I'm not quite sure what the challenge will be for them probably my challenge is to keep YouTube going as long as I want okay stay safe and thank you for watching bye for now